Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to Innovation with Ifim. Now today's video would be different. You may ask why is that? Because in today's video, I'm not going to show you any typical coding tutorial or anything like how you can customize your GitHub profile, how you can tweak your D settings in your D software, uh, how you can improve your coding skill, how you can improve your programming skill or anything like that. No, not at all. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, a unique application which I think you might be interested of and that is mark text okay if i want to clarify about the mark text then you can see there about section the description right it's actually a simple and elegant markdown editor and the amazing thing is it supports cross-platform that means you can use it in your windows machine in your linux machine and in your mac machine also isn't that amazing and here's the link mark app if we go to their website then we can get this and you can download the application for your Mac OS, Windows and Linux here, okay? And they have already provided you a nice guideline, uh, some diagram, inline formats, math formula, code block, okay? I'm not gonna read all the details here because as you can see, you can do that by yourself. Simply go to the website and you can do that from here, okay? Now, if we go to their GitHub repository link, then you can get that uh, they have provided all the details and and some translations are also available here you can check that out if you want and you can support them obviously i would request you if you can please support them because really they are doing a very great job okay i have used their this application for uh, about two weeks or so and i really liked that i have to say that obviously They have also added some themes, uh, cadmium light, dark, graphite light, material dark. And if you want, you can also customize any theme you want and you can submit a peer. I hope so. They have also provided uh, all the documentations you might need for this software, starting from the download and installation to contribution. Okay. So here's the thing. Now, after downloading the software, if we open this software, we can get this nice UI, okay? And you may ask, why is it different from the other Markdown editor or something like that? Because if we search Markdown text editor in online, then we can get countless websites where we can edit all our Markdown files. We can get the preview of them instantly or even we can get many extra benefits or extra features out of them, okay? So why is it different? I'm coming to that part right now. You see, Visual Studio Code is pretty much popular towards us, right? And many of us, maybe I'm wrong here, most of us like to edit our readme file, I mean markdown files within the VX code text editor, okay? And it's very popular because we can edit anything we want here and we can also get the live preview here, okay? Instantly, like this. But in this type of readme file or this type of markdown file, we need to know some syntax. Yeah, I know that you would say the syntax of markdown is pretty easy. And if we just start in some uh, syntax like for table, we can simply search through internet and we can get the uh, template from there and we can paste that here. And later we can tweak or change something as we uh, see fit for ourselves, okay? But what if you can get all the features within a single text editor that wouldn't be RAM hungry, that wouldn't be resource hungry at all and would provide you each and every feature of Markdown language have. Isn't that amazing? Yes, that's what MarkText does. So if I open the MarkText, uh, sorry, yeah, I was right. If we open the MarkText text editor, then we can get this clean UI, okay? We can type anything we want. Okay, let's go to the cool part, shall we? So suppose I want to add a header here. What I can do? Simply type the add rate of sign and they will suggest you each and everything you might need here, okay? Like paragraph, horizontal line, header one, header two, header three, header five, header six, table block, display math, HTML block, code block, 
quotation block, order list, bullet list, to-do list, vega chart, flow chart, sequence diagram, mermaid, etc. Suppose uh, I want to add header one here, okay? They are also providing you the shortcut as well, okay? You can select either by using the mouse or you can select using the keyboard as well. There's nothing wrong here. So suppose I'm typing here, this is header one, okay? Suppose I want to add a table here. What I can do, I can simply uh, type that rate of button. They are giving me suggestion as well. And if I don't want to scroll through the suggestion block, what I can do, I can simply check my command whether they are giving the suggestion in this box or not. Such as I am typing table. They are already suggesting me directly table block. And I can add here. I can select how much row and how many column I want. If you are not satisfied with it, you can simply change here also, such as I want 10 into 9. You can click on OK or you can simply hit on Enter and they have provided you the table as well. Okay, You can customize anything you want. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Okay, And about the more features of this text editor, if we click through here, we see that we can do more stuff here. If we go to the preference tab, then we are getting more features here, editor, markdown, spelling, theme. They are providing you uh, six themes right now. Okay, image, image uploader. You can change your theme. Or you can tweak some settings as you may see fit for yourself, okay? Now, after doing your task here, you can simply save the file or, or if you want, you can uh, create a .md file before starting your project here. And the amazing thing is that you don't need to do your stuff like this. Like you are typing here and you need to check the preview, okay? You, need, you don't need to... Uh, memorize the syntax or you don't need to remember the syntax each and every time you are working on any markdown file okay like you can see obviously that i don't need to know any syntax here at all if i'm not familiar with markdown text i mean but i can assume that most of you are already familiar with the markdown file okay like i'm typing here i'm providing the syntax from this suggestion box and I'm getting the output or the preview in the real time. I don't need to refresh anything or uh, recheck anything whether uh, the output looks exactly the same as I want or something like that. No, there's no need at all. You simply type in the real time and you are getting the preview on the real time and it's completely hassle free. And if I want to show you the uh, resources it is taking, you can see that it's taking almost uh, 210 something of my RAM and it doesn't have that much impact on my CPU at all. It's pretty lightweight. Okay. So Markdown is a language and this language is very essential to our day to day life. Especially uh, if you are into open source contribution on GitHub or GitLab, you can get every project. I repeat, almost every project has a markdown file. You can get a readme.md file in the root branch, okay? And that is considered the landing page of any project you are working on or you will be working on in future or anything like that. Because when we go into any project or any repo, we get the complete overview uh, from their landing page. Like what they are offering, what the project does, how we, we can uh, use this project or contribution garden or anything else. And it's pretty simple, pretty easy, and it's very much user friendly. So almost all of us are using this markdown file in our GitHub, GitLab or any other day to day task. Especially if we consider the GitHub pages, we are mostly pretty comfortable with markdown file because we can simply create any kind of static normal but subtle website using the markdown file and we, then we can host it into uh, github pages or netlify pages or anything uh, free hosting service i'm not sure i am using that right because we can use the github as the free hosting site and we can deploy it using the netlify uh, versal or anything like that okay 
so here's this now if you are new to this channel then i would request you to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it to your friends i try to upload this type of uh, technology related video especially coding and programming related videos in my channel almost regularly you can check all of them here uh, just go to my channel section and if you want then you can follow me on github gitlab linkedin twitter facebook instagram i will provide all the links down below in this uh, video's description box okay so that's it for today i will see you in the next video till then take care